How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I have an exciting one for you guys today. But before we start, if you guys could like the video or subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to keep bringing amazing content every single day. Anyways, with all those disclaimers out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into it. Philip Rivers' 2019 season was up and down. And for every couple of good throws he had, he would try to force something up and make a bad throw. Rivers finished the season with the Los Angeles Chargers completing 66% of his passes for 4,615 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 20 interceptions. Even though Rivers had some struggles last season, Rivers is confident heading into the 2020 season. Rivers might be onto something with comments about the last season though. The Chargers running game in 2019 was good, but it's clear he felt like he couldn't trust them. Late in games, he thought he needed to be a hero instead of just making the easy throws that were there. The Colts have one of the most talented running back rooms in the NFL, and it's something that Rivers is going to lean on heavily. The Colts should be able to lean on that, which is going to allow Rivers to be more of a game manager instead of having to hit the home run play every time. It might take a while for Rivers to adjust to the new play style because he's always been a bit of a gunslinger, obviously, but if he can do it, he should find a lot of success with the Colts. He also has T.Y. Hilton, of course, and the former USC wide receiver, Michael Pittman Jr. You know, I will say I've heard how much of a great guy Philip Rivers is and things he's been able to do on the field as a leader or as a mentor. It has been long known that Rivers is a vocal player both on and off the field. The Colts have embraced the part of his game, knowing he will do anything he can to get the best out of his teammates around him. Several players around the Colts organization have already praised Rivers for his ability to take over the room this offseason. The transition he's made from the Chargers to the Colts seems to be the seamless much in part due to the familiarity with head coach Frank Reich. The offensive coordinator, Nick Sereni, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to butcher, butcher that last name. That's hard to say. I'll just call him Nick, though, for just this episode. Um, Nick still sees the same Rivers that has been in the league for over a decade and half and believes the 38-year-old still has plenty left in the tank. One thing that is great about Phillip Rivers is his consistency on occasions. So I don't see a lot of changes. He has been a very consistent player for 16 years of his career. I think that the carries over in a lot of things that he has done is what the Colts offensive coordinator has said. I still see the same passion for the game, the same teammate that he has been the last time I was around him. The consistency is there and that doesn't surprise me. That's how he is as a football player. That's something we look for as a coaching staff and consistency. He's still that. As far as anything that's changed with Phillips, I don't see anything. For Phillip Rivers, honestly, a lot is riding on the shoulders of Rivers this season. The Colts season could be defined by which version of the veteran they get. Consistency will be the key, and the Colts are confident in what they have under center entering the training camp. But I need to question the other side because questions still arise, no doubt. Before we knew quarterback Andrew Luck was going to retire last preseason, Reich firmly said, stated his belief that Jacoby Brissett was a top 20 NFL quarterback. He meant it as a compliment and a vote of confidence, but to succeed in this league, it's kind of important to be a top 20 quarterback. Seth fit that description, the Colts were 5-2 and two when he didn't. The lacking of vision in addition to being affected by too many injuries to key players. It wasn't obviously all of Brissett's fault, but the Colts lost 7 of 9 to finish the season. More than two decades of listening to coach speak inherently reminds to rarely accept an assessment at 100%. Except that's what the coach believes and keep a wonderful and a watchful eye to see if it's true. For what it's worth, Reich has the steady, understated, confident makings of a solid NFL head coach. He's probably better than top 20 at his job. And yes, that's intended as a compliment. I mean, another thing is that the Chargers were coming off of the season opening overtime home win over the Colts, but trailed 13 and 10 in the final minutes at Detroit in week two last year. They were in field goal range, but looking at a third and 19 play at the Lions 28. The smart play is to throw underneath 
or go with something that reduces the length of the potential game tying field goal. But Rivers, the gunslinger takes a shot deep to the well covered Keenan Allen. Lions cornerback at the time Darius Slay is properly positioned with a safety closing top and makes the interception. Game over. There are often moments where you say or think to yourself, you can't make that play in that situation. Yeah, Rivers just can't make that mistake then. I mean, watch it for yourself. Just one bad play, someone could say, but, Ri but Rivers made the same kind of mistake at least three other times to sacrifice points last season. This is what worries me. His underthrown pass to running back Austin Eckler in the end zone with just a little more than one minute to play in. Week 11, obviously, was a head-scratcher. That fourth interception ended a 24-17 and home loss to Kansas City. If having a bad day might it be wise to stick with a smart play when the game is on the line, possibly? That brings me back to Reich's authorization. We have a lot to prove, and it's not going to be easy. He said that. The proof starts with Rivers, showing he can consistently make the smart plays depending upon the situation. There's no doubt the play calling Reich will inherit this all-important advice to his quarterback. If history repeats itself, it's not because Rivers was improperly coached. He's 38, been to 8 Pro Bowls, and his 59,271 passing yards and 397 touchdown passes each rank 6 in NFL history. Rivers knows better and shouldn't need to be told. I hope the negative side here isn't true, but in the back of my head I just worry about it. Hopefully Rivers proves people wrong and I hope he can succeed. I believe Rivers now being on the Colts will finally tell us whether or not what kind of quarterback Rivers has been. Was it really the Chargers fault or was it Phillip Rivers? Who knows? Leave in the comments below what you guys think. I'm very interested in what you guys think about that, but it's just a question I have. Was it the Chargers or Phillip Rivers? Like, who, who is to blame? I, I don't know, but I think we'll find out, no doubt. But with all that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day. Peace.